and welcome back to Bookish Theories. In today's video, I would like to continue my Stay Home series by talking about 10 movies that you should watch if you love BTS while you practice social distancing. In case you guys missed the first videos of this series, I already did a list of books you should read if you love BTS, Stray Kids and Tomorrow by Together. But today, I would like to try yet another form of entertainment in case books are not really your thing. In this list, I will be mentioning 10 of the many movies that BTS referenced ever since they debuted. And if you like this type of content, let me know in the comments down below because I have enough suggestions for a part 2 and a part 3 as well. Now, since BTS are, you know, from Korea, the first movie that I would like to suggest today is a Korean movie called Old Boy, a neo-noir action thriller directed by Park Chan-wook. Old Boy is the second installment of the Vengeance trilogy, a series of movies by the same director that are not directly connected to one another but all deal with the themes of revenge, violence and salvation. This movie is about a man who was imprisoned for 15 years and that was released without any explanation as to why he was imprisoned in the first place. In the story, the protagonist has five days in order to discover the identity of his captor and save the life of the woman that he loves. And I'm suggesting you this movie because the violin instrumental of the song No is actually sampled off the original soundtrack of the film. So in case you're wondering where BTS got their inspiration for that song, check this one out because it's a really good movie. Next up we have Black Swan, a psychological thriller directed by Darren Aronofsky. Now, if you've been an army for more than like two days, you probably know that this movie is one of the main inspirations for BTS's Black Swan, to the point that some of the scenes of the movie are actually referenced in the music video as well. The story for this one revolves around Nina, a ballerina at the New York City Ballet who is given the role of the soloist in the upcoming production of The Swan Lake. Nina is perfect to play the white swan, but she struggles to access the part of herself that would make her fitting to play the black swan as well. And the movie depicts her gradual descent into madness as she tries to become the perfect dancer and embrace both roles at the same time. Much like Old Boy, this is quite a dark movie, so if you prefer something with a lighter mood, another movie that you may want to check out is Singing in the Rain, a musical from 1952 directed by Gene Kelly and Stanley Donen. Now, this is an absolute classic, and if you never watched this one, I highly recommend it, especially if you are a boy with love enthusiast. The music video heavily references some of the most iconic scenes from the movie, and the movie itself is about the moment in time where silent movies were transitioning into talkies. The story follows a young actress named Kathy, who is hired to record the voice of a silent movie star that has a horrible voice and wouldn't fit the new trend of talking films. This is a very light-hearted story that portrays Katty's journey to success. So if you enjoy musicals and want to distract yourself for a couple of hours, this is the perfect classic for you. And speaking of classics, another movie that you should definitely check out is Brian De Palma's Scarface, a movie starring Al Pacino and Michelle Pfeiffer that is referenced in the song Tony Montana, the legendary collaboration between Auguste and Jimin. The protagonist of this film is, well, you guessed it, Tony Montana, a Cuban refugee that arrives in Miami with nothing and that in the span of a few years manages to become a really powerful drug lord. This is a cult movie with a great soundtrack that heavily inspired Auguste's song. But as it turns out, Scarface is not the only movie that Sugar referenced in his mixtape, because in the title track we actually find a direct quote from The Wailing, a South Korean horror movie directed by Na Hong Jin. The story for this one follows a policeman who investigates a series of murders caused by a mysterious illness that began to spread after a Japanese man arrived in town. If you love horror, this is actually a really great movie that in the West didn't really get the attention it deserved. It has mystery, great cinematography and it's also really really gruesome. But if you're not into that, maybe let's move on to the next one. Movie number 6 is About Time, a British romantic comedy drama written and directed by Richard Curtis. This is one of the sources that inspired this winter bear and it tells the story of Tim, a man who discovers that the men of his family have the ability to time travel. 
With his power, Tim changes his past in order to improve his future and win the affection of the woman that he loves. But as time goes by, the protagonist actually discovers that his power cannot solve every problem of his life. This movie essentially deals with the importance of learning to appreciate each day as if you are living it twice. So if you love Winter Bear and you want to know more about the movie that inspired it, check this one out because it's actually really good. Next up we have Snowpiercer, a science fiction action film directed by Bong joon -ho. This is the same guy that also directed Parasite, yet another movie that you should watch even if it doesn't have anything to do with BTS. But since we are talking about them in this video, let's focus on Snowpiercer. Now, this movie is actually mentioned in the lyrics of Spring Day, and it revolves around a train that carries what's left of humanity after an experiment meant to stop global warming accidentally transformed the planet into a frozen landscape. The survivors live in two different compartments that are divided according to social classes. And the story follows the protagonist leading a revolution of the lower class stuck in the tail section against the elite that lives at the front. Movie number 8, on the other hand, is Kingsman The Secret Service, a film that BTS referenced in Outro Ego and in the Dionysus live performance at the KBS Song Festival 2019. This is an action spy comedy directed by Matthew Vaughn, and it tells the story of a boy who is recruited by a secret spy organization that fights crime. If you're interested in this one, this movie also has a sequel, so if you never watched it, you have two movies to catch up on. Another movie that was recently referenced in Map of the Soul 7 is Aladdin, a film that is directly mentioned in Jimin's solo filter. Now, this one needs very little introduction, but since most of us have time to spare these days, this could be the right opportunity to pick your filter and watch both the live action and the original animation. And speaking of animations, the last movie that I would like to recommend to you today is Tales from Artsy by Goro Miyazaki. Now, this movie is not officially connected to anything involving BTS, but if you end up watching it, you will find very interesting details that heavily recall the Make It Right animation and the overall theme of Map of the Soul. This movie is set in a world full of magic, it has a dragon, a lot of mystery, and most importantly, a hero that has to deal with his own shadow. So if you enjoyed Make It Right, this is a fantastic movie with a very similar aesthetic. So that's it from me today, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did, please think about liking and subscribing. As always, thank you so much for watching guys, I'll see you next time, bye bye!